y'all welcome back to the vlog it is the official august vlog and it's saturday so what we're about to do is go to this black owned salad place that we saw on tiktok however when i was out with my cousin she told me about it too so i'm like okay well it must be really good so we're gonna check it out today not much going on outside of that we're going to do like some grocery shopping and yeah that's pretty much it so um we're getting ready to leave in a bit and have our late lunch because it's about like 4 38 so i'm excited to try it out mike is definitely excited y'all know he eats extremely healthy oh my god but it's a work in progress <laughs> so yeah we'll be going there in just a few I just want to give a little love to my plant. This is our snake plant that we bought a few weeks ago, and it's thriving. And then also, I bought this candle yesterday from Target. It smells pretty good, and actually, it has a pretty strong scent. I mean, you have to be, like, in the kitchen to smell it, but it is made with essential oils. It's called Daydream, and the scent is cactus and rose. It smells really, really good. I love it. All right, so the place that we went to is Fresh Greens. Is that what it's called? Uh, yeah. Okay, so Fresh Greens. So we both ended up getting the seafood salad, the seafood Caesar salad. However, Mike and I are both like... <laughs> Um, we don't do good with dairy, so, um, what dressing did you get? The same you got? Um, the know. honey, what was it? Garlic honey vinaigrette. Uh, it just said honey garlic on the side. Yeah, so we know. both got that. The Caesar was a little too creamy, so it comes with salmon and crab meat, but they said they're having a crab meat shortage, so we didn't get that, but they gave extra shrimp from Mike. Because they had the last salmon <laughs> left and no more after that. So, Mike let me have it. And, yeah. So, it's salmon, shrimp, croutons, romaine. Mike got olives in his. I really didn't know what else to put in it. So, um, it looks like Mike is enjoying his. <laughs> How is it? Good. He's smacking, y'all. I'm just hungry. All right. Let me see how I like this. So I have my dressing on the side. I'm just going to add a little bit. Let's see how it is. That's actually really good. Mm -hmm. I really like this dressing. Hey guys, it's Friday. Another weekend off and um, I figured I would do a little bit of self-care today. So I have a nail appointment later tonight. And today, what I'm doing right now, I'm walking to the spa where my one SD friend, she works. Um, we used to work together and now she works here. I'm super happy for her and I told her I would come and support her in her new place of business. And what I want to do today is get a hydrofacial. I'm really excited. Um, I have some hyperpigmentation going on, y'all. Let me tell y'all what happened. So, um, I got a little, like, birthday sampler from Sephora. I'm like, ooh, great. Let me try out these products. Girl, broke me out. Had pimples everywhere, breakouts everywhere. My skin just did not agree with it. Um, so, oh, I'm right here. So needless to say, I got a lot of hyperpigmentation going on. I have scarring from the nasty breakouts, but I think I'm here. Um, yeah, I think I'm here. Hopefully where I part, I can stay, but I'm excited. I've never had a hydrofacial before and this will be my first time. So let's go in. Okay. Same okay. As, same as before. Oh. Hi, Danielle. Hi. <laughs> so, tell us what we're doing today. So, we're doing hydrofacial today. I'm excited. So, tell the people. I already know what it is, but you can tell the people what it is. Hydrofacial is a great treatment because it simultaneously pulls dirt, oil, debris, sebum, pro 
on the skin while also infusing some really hydration. amazing hydration, um, amazing serums into the skin. So it doesn't leave you high and dry. It leaves you just very, very plump, very glowing, look, glowing. Looks Beautiful. like you have a filter on your face. After Girl, your I cannot wait. <laughs> and the bed looks comfy. It's very comfy. It's oh very my gosh. Is it? Mm -hmm. Ooh, so this is the machine here? This is the machine. Yes. This is, the, this is our girl right here. Yes, I'm excited. I'm going to get changed. particles towards the bottom floating around mm -hmm. that's that skin mm -hmm. you don't have a lot of that because you exfoliate yes, like a big girl <laughs> I do I think I saw like one little yeah really wrong. not a lot of dead skin this is mostly dirt oil debris okay yeah, yeah. that type of thing not so much dead skin cells Ooh. you can see a little at the top see yes. these little guys yeah I do yeah yeah but other than that not the worst I've seen yes. not the worst I've seen just a better outfit in right Thanks. okay all right, y'all, I'm back, and my face looks so good. Like, you can barely see my pores, but of course you can see my hyperpigmentation. Ugh. Anyway, um, yeah, my skin looks really good. I'm gonna have to get one of these more often. This is a really good experience. I love anything hydration, and so when she did the hydrofacial, there are some serums, so I got glycolic, 15%, um, and I think something else, but, like, it looks so good. Oh, it feels good, too. Yeah. This is really good. This is a really good experience. And then I got a hand and arm massage. After that, I had a jelly mask, so it really, really looks good. Give y'all a close up. You see her. Yeah, I like it. All right, I had to put my brows on, but I'm coming to the mall because I have just a few perfumes that I want to smell at Sephora. But I'm in Pottery Barn having a good old time because they have such cute things here. I really want to get into like Bohemian decor. If you follow me on IG, you see that. That is just like my new judge now. And they have a lot of that going on. I like a lot of the stuff that they have in here. And they're starting to have some fall stuff too. Oh, look at the little pumpkins. This is so cute. Danielle made me some tea after the facial. That was so good. Oh my gosh, y'all. It was like a vanilla almond. And I, I don't even like tea that much. And I don't like nutty type of... um flavors are peanuts or nuts in general but that was really good um this is really cute i love this candle stand 
I like this too. This is so cute. Oh my gosh, they have little pumpkin candles. This is so adorable. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna get into my cute, adorable dialogue in about a second. Here. <laughs> but this is cute. Okay, this is what I've been wanting to smell. Oh my gosh, the tester is pretty much out. So I've been wanting to try the Love Don't Be Shy and I want to see what it smells like because everybody's been raving about it and it actually has an acquired scent like it's powdery it's floral and it's mature i don't hate it but i was wondering if they had oh they do so they have like the travel size so i'm just gonna pick this up just to have something you know to zhuzh up my collection. However, it's $2.45. I don't see myself paying $2.45. I just wanna see how I like it with the little travel first. I've been wanting to try the Love Don't Be Shy because I've heard a lot of mixed reviews. Like it smells good, it smells old lady. I just smelled it on my skin and um, it's not terrible. It does have a mature smell, however, Good girl gone bad. That actually smells way better. I like this a lot better. I'm torn though. I want to get the travel of this here just to have it, but honestly, I would not mind buying the big size of this. This smells really good. Mm. Decisions. I'm torn now. Oh my goodness. Now, this is a game changer here. So these are oils that are perfumes, which means they're going to last a really long time. Now these two smell, actually all four of these smell amazing, but I really like these two. What's up y'all, I'm back home. And what I'm about to do is my lashes, um, you may or may not have paid attention, but I don't have my lashes anymore. Um, I took them off. You know that the numbers are rising with COVID once again. So I'm just trying to be cautious. And um, it wasn't anything that I needed to do in necessity. I really love Cece. She does an amazing job. However, now I'm about to start doing it myself again. So I went ahead and bought the last few cluster lashes on Amazon. Then they also have an individual lash glue. And this glue is good for 10 days. So it's pretty durable, I'm gonna try it out. I got everything I need, my primer, my spoolie, my lash tweezers, and I'm gonna try these out and I'm gonna show you guys how it looks when I'm done. Good morning. So it's Saturday, um, I'm getting myself together because today's gonna be pretty eventful. So what we're doing today is we're getting a V steam me and the girls, we've always talked about it. We talked about it for a good like year now. Um, and we're finally getting one today. Just to clean out our uterus and our pocketbook and all that, you know, give her a nice little facial. Um, and then after that, we're going to Top Golf because it is George's birthday. That is Marquita's husband. So we're going to Top Golf and we're gonna get something to eat after that. So yeah, we'll pretty much be outside all day. So what I'm doing is using my Good Molecules um, Priming Moisturizer. I really like this when I'm gonna wear makeup. I'm only putting a little bit of makeup on where my hyperpigmentation is. Um, then I have my Old Faithful, my PCA Hydrator Plus SPF. And I'm just gonna slap this on and I'll show y'all what I got on in a second. I know for a fact that I'm going to change my purse to something a little smaller and just condense some things. Oh, and let me tell y'all, this thigh rescue, my plus size girls, this is it. 
I love this stuff. So I always like to slick it in my thighs when it's gonna be hot. It's gonna be like 89 degrees today. Um, so I don't want or need no problems. So I gotta get my thigh meat together. And I actually like this size because you can put it in your purse. So I can re-up if I need to. So yeah. That's pretty much what I'm doing. And what I have on today, so y'all know I went to Sephora yesterday, so I did end up getting the Nest Madagascar Vanilla Perfume Oil, divine. Oh, it smells so good, y'all. And then I did get the Love Don't Be Shy. Um, I bought the travel size. And the other one I definitely want to buy too. I'm thinking I'm going to buy the bigger size because I like that one better. But I wouldn't mind buying the bigger size of this. So um, what I did is apply this on my skin when I got out the shower. It was damp. Then I did like my body serum. Where's my body serum? Right here. And then I did my Fenty Butter Drops and some body oil and then i went ahead and added it on top but i didn't like rub it in i kind of like pressed it in my skin so you can still smell it pretty good um i may add this valentino so this is why i like little scents so i got a um sample of this from sephora yesterday and it smells kind of good so i'm like hey my word is too it smells really good so i may add this in my purse for today um, I like to experiment and mix scents. I don't know if anybody else does, but um, I definitely plan on getting this um, Valentino scent. This is the Volce Viva, V-O-C-E. Hopefully I'm saying this right, but I think it's Volce Viva. Um, this smells really good. So I want to actually get the travel size of that too. That way I can have it in my purse when I'm going out. And I'm good to go. So now that I have that on, I just need to put on my brows. Okay, so let me show y'all what I've been using. So I really like the One Size Foundation from Patrick Star. So the shade that I have is Dark 3. And I've been using powder, ex um, powder exfoliants. Oh my gosh, I'm such an esthetician. I've been using... Um, powder foundations because it's summertime so it's easier and you don't feel you know shiny it's more of a matte finish and let me tell y'all how irritated i am that i have to do this like my skin was doing so well as y'all obviously saw i just did a sponsored video with agency and i still use their products because it really does help my hyperpigmentation but somebody at my skin complexion we hyperpigment very easily like it doesn't matter if we treat the uh, pimple and we put everything on it even if it shrinks it can still hyperpigment and the fact that you know i broke out from that moisturizer it just really was not in my favor so you know it did its thing and um, I had a big old, big old pimple on my um, cheek and on my forehead. Like it was awful and I'm on my cycle too. So it's just, <laughs> y'all I'm losing. So yeah, this is what I've been doing. That way I don't look shiny. I have more of a matte finish and I love the little um, mitten that comes with it. Well, it doesn't come with it. I actually bought that separately. Let me stop lying. Um, so yeah, this does help. It matches and blends perfectly. Um, so yeah, I'm a fan. If y'all like powder foundation, check it out. I'm just getting my little baby hairs together. And I'm going to be on my little way and I'll show y'all what I got on today. And then I'll show you guys my bag. This is actually going to be the first time I wear this bag out. Mike bought me this bag for Christmas and I haven't had anywhere to wear it. Um, well, first of all, because it's been a whole pandemic and I wasn't really going out. So that's that. And I'm going to go ahead and wear my Summer Fridays 
lip butter balm. Um, I did a IG story on this and I love these. I have the um, vanilla one, which is more transparent and this has a little bit of a hue, a brown hue. So it keeps you glossy, I really like it. And yeah, that is, this is me today. Brows, gloss, a little bit of foundation, boom. This is what I have on today. So I have on a black tank. Bought this from Forever 21 a very long time ago. And I just have it tucked in with my biker shorts. I got these from Shein. It actually goes with another set, but I like them, they're really comfortable. Then I have my plaid shirt and it pairs really well with my purse. This is my coach that is a nude color. And then I'm just wearing my Air Forces. Me and Mike have the same sneakers on today, but I thought it would be fitting and you know, something chill since we're gonna be walking and doing activities. So yeah, this is what I have on today. All right, I'm here with Marquita. Chanel, where you are? And we're getting a bee steam. Are y'all excited? Yes. I want to feel it. Exactly. <laughs> we we got to clean it out from there. I'm going to feel the earth. Right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to clean it out. <laughs> we got to clean it out. Just have to wait a minute. It's the second floor. It's only spring cleaning. You got to get a nooks and crannies. Floor. We're going to come out smelling like patchouli. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is going to be interesting. I want to say the least. Yeah. We're going to be out all day. I think this I is feel like this is the most I've been out in a long time. Yeah, you are. Alright. So we're looking for W23. Uh, it got to be one of these. Is it? Um, W23, maybe it's this one. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. How's it feel? Steamy. Is yeah. it steamy? Yeah. <laughs> we gave Marky the littlest one. <laughs> Too big. <laughs> okay, this is the lady of the hour. So tell us about your business. Yes, yeah, so um my business is called Be Empowered. Mm -hmm. I have been in business since my third year. Um and really these things are for women who have different issues. You really don't have to have issues, but um women who have fertility issues, women who have painful periods or long periods. Those are the people that mainly come for these things, but um, these things are really for just your overall vaginal health, improving that health. Yes, ma'am. So that's what we're doing. So yeah, I'm about to get changed, y'all. We is done. Chanel, where you at? All right, y'all tell y'all experience because I they was like <laughs> laughing at me because I am very sensitive to the heat and everything was sweating. I felt like I just took a shower. But how did y'all like it? It was fine for me. I think, yeah, I, I was about to tell it turned up, but I was like, okay. right. I was like, I'll just like trust the process. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, she said she could have turned it up. Yeah. Well, I didn't want to burn myself I didn't know, up yeah, because I, I didn't know. want to tell her turn it up and then be like, oh, no, turn it back down. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll stick with it. Great, you had yours on cold. Yeah. No, I didn't. You was giving yourself a, uh, a iced tea and stuff. <laughs> But um, no, nah, it was nice. It was just really warm for me because I'm always sensitive to the heat. So anything hot from the bottom to the top is just gonna rise. I just but, feel like I was about to like drip. Yeah, I did in the very beginning. Moment. Yeah, maybe because the way we were sitting like on a pot, you know, your body when you sit like that, it's like ooh, go to the bathroom. Like maybe. Well, I didn't say my up, bladder. Well, not that, but See, you know what I'm saying. Bring the baby, pee all over that pot. I was not. <laughs> But you know when like you sit like in that position. I mean, a bit of the pressure, but no, like I felt like I was about to hear a boop. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> so I just started doing people sucking all the tea. I'm yeah. done. I'm sucking the tea. Sucking the tea. Yeah. Yeah. Let it get all the benefits. Woo, but y'all, I tell you, them stools were tighty. Uh, I don't even want to hear it. My put butt. me on a baby stool. Well, we got big butts. Well, you what? do sit on Dylan's baby crazy boy. So. <laughs> See, there we go. I was like, 
Yeah, you knew that going well. I would have been in that pot if I sat on that little pot. Yeah, that was not going to work for me. Mm -hmm. I feel like it was good, though, because maybe your stuff was closer to the heat. I don't know. I mean, it felt good. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it did feel good. That was my first time ever. Well, it was our first time, but to have like warmth down there, just steaming and chilling, it felt really relaxing, yeah. like she said. I feel like it's something I could, I would be interested to do at home. Yeah. Of course, because Chanel. Right. Oh, we gotta do something at home. at home. That's only miss, two, I do everything. Only two, because I feel like I would be more relaxed. If I'm trying to get like relaxation, I feel like I'd be more relaxed at home. I can see that with you. However, I will I mean, come so back to her. Probably be around, looking at me, asking what I'm doing. So right. That's true. No, but I enjoyed it. I I would do it again. Yeah. Yeah. I would definitely and do it again. And the girl who um did it, she was nice. Yeah, yeah she really was nice. nice and, and very informative. Yeah, she wasn't doing too much. <laughs> She's very, you know, professional outside of you know us, her getting there a little late, but she said she was busy. But I would do it again for sure. I think. Oh, we ate all the fries. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> we got 